Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' With Them, where I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I am sharing this friend card with you. I love this background for this daisy, and the background stamp that we're using today is the Birch Background Stamp by Stampin' Up!, which is this one right here. And I just love this. It's so pretty. And especially behind these daisies. And I'm also using Daisy Lane um, stamp set for our daisies here. And then I also am using the leaves that are from the Floral Essence, which are these right here. So we have two different um, stamp sets that have leaves like this that you can use with our leaf punch. So you can use whatever you have. And that is what we're using for this. I'm also going to use um, my Butterfly Gala stamp set just for this little butterfly. But if you have a butterfly punch or anything like that, you can use that also. Alright, so let's get started. I am using Mango Melody today. This is our card base, which is 5.5 by 4 and a quarter. You're also going to need Whisper White for our background stamp. And it is 5 and a quarter by 4. And then you also need a small piece of Whisper White for the Friend Sentiment, which is one by two and three quarters. And that Friend Sentiment also comes from the Daisy Lane. So you're using all those. All right, then you are going to need a piece of crumb cake because we are using our stitched rectangles. And you need this for your frame. And I think that's it, except for some Whisper White to stamp your daisies on and your leaves. All right, let's do the background first. And so this is a cling mount stamp, which is very sticky. And what I just do is I just lay it on here because it, it don't move once, once it's on there. I'm going to use crumb cake for that. I want to keep this straight, though. So I'm going to line it up with that so that it, it's straight on my card when I put that down. And we're just going to ink up the surface. And there's a lot of uh, stamp here, so make sure everything is covered. I'll close this one up. I need to grab a little piece of scrap right here. And I'm going to lay this on top. And then we're going to just use this. And it's just going to catch the ink that's on the edges. But this is such a nice background stamp. It's really, really pretty. So look at that. It looks just like a birch tree. So I'm going to wipe this up really quickly and then put it back in its case so I don't have ink everywhere. And then we will go on. All right, so next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna stamp our daisies. I'm using melon, uh, or mango melody again. And then we'll stamp our leaves after that. So let me get my daisies out here. And we want two big ones and then one small. Or they're calling it a medium, but so we're gonna stamp two of those. You can put as many layers of this as you um, like because it does make it fuller, but be aware when you mail it, it's gonna cost you extra if you have too many layers. All right, so we're going to just go ahead and use our punches, and we are going to pun punch those out. Let me close this back up because we don't need that one anymore. So we are going to line these up in here. And this is thick Whisper White, so um, it does take a little bit to punch through. It's pretty thick. Make sure I got these all lined up really good. And then we'll use our medium daisy punch 
for our little one here. All right, let me see if I have enough room on here for my leaves. I think I probably will. So we're going to use pear pizzazz. And we're going to grab the leaves. So we don't waste anything. And I do need four things of leaves, so I'm going to have to grab me another little piece of um, whisper white here. And we'll just use the one that we already used for this. All right. Now we'll grab our leaf punch. So this is so easy because you are punching everything out. The only thing you're using the big shot for is your frame. to do is our butterfly and I'm going to use the same piece while I have it out and we're going to do it with memento black and I'm also going to go ahead we're just inking up the little one because that's all we need and then we'll just go ahead and stamp our um, friend and we will be all ready to put it all together and this is our dual butterfly punch and we have our butterfly I am going to color it in with oh I forgot my little um, body for the butterfly and I, I do that a lot I forget the body part and you want that on there there you go I'm coloring it in really quickly with just some pumpkin pie here that was the closest I had. To the mel mel uh, mango melody. I always want to say melody mango. Alright, so we have those and here's our butterfly and now we just need to stamp our friend. going to do that one. I got a little dot. Oh, we can't use that one. Let me go ahead and grab another piece really quick. All right, that's much better. And then I am going to just cut that by hand. It was two and three quarters. Make sure I get that straight and there we go all right let's put this together now let's get our card base and I like this on the top although yeah I'm gonna do it on the top like I did before I'm gonna use some snail And we forgot to cut out our frame, so we need to do that. But let's go ahead and do this part. And then I'm going to bring the big shot up here really quickly, and we can cut our frame out. So for the frame, we need to put a base plate there. We are just lining these up inside each other. Just make sure that they're pretty even. And it looks okay to me there. I hope that it is. And that is it for our frame. And there we go. Let's bring our card back in here and we are going to use some wet glue for this because it's much easier than trying to get any kind of 
nail or anything on this because it's very narrow. I think I'm starting to run out. Alright, so let's grab that. We're going to lie our frame here. Make sure it's straight. And now we're going to just layer. Again, I'm going to use wet glue. We're going to layer these on top of each other. And then we're going to pop up the little one, or the smaller one, with a dimensional. And we're going to use some wet glue on the bottom here. And what I'm going to do is grab one of my leaves. And I'm going to place it there because I want that underneath. And I'm going to go ahead and stick some there. And then we're going to go ahead and add our other leaves. I think running out of glue here. And one more down here. And you can see I used paper I already used before, which you are not going to see. So go ahead and use what you have. All right, I'm going to add my friend here. And while it is still a little bit wet. I'm going to pick that up. I need my little piercing tool. I will wait it too long. But put that there. And then this one right here we are going to stick under here, and that's still wet, so that's going to hold it down right there. You can even add an embellishment here if you like something in the center. I just thought it was, you know, pretty without it, so I didn't want to add too much bling because there's a lot going on. So I'm going to use a glue dot for the butterfly, and we're going to put that one right here. And that is it. So it's really quick and easy because you have the punches and so that is it. The only thing you need the big shot for is your frame, but you can also cut that out by hand. Here's the other one. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it everyone. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. It really helps me. And I hope you all have a blessed one. I'll see you in the next one everyone. Bye.